What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Supermarket Simulator. Last episode, we got a ton more organization done. I know that's kind of the theme that's been the theme the last few episodes because two episodes before that, we got started on our whole storage and reorganization and we ended up uh, finishing up in the previous episode or two episodes ago. Um, and now, last episode, we went and redid everything again, basically. <laughs> so we went and reorganized all of our shelves into an actual aisles, making more, much more use in, of our space, being more efficient with it. We got our computer over here now. Like I said, we got actual aisles. We were able to fit in seven more storage shelves total because we had four already, and we, and we purchased uh, three more for that. So that is all looking good. I'm really happy. We also kind of organized some stuff as well to try to keep try to keep things in place where they belong, kind of together as well. So that is all looking good. I mean, we got all of our candies, chips over here. We got powdered sugar, some different condiments. This the potatoes don't really go well well with this, but that's fine. We got our all of our flowers here. Our rice is we doubled things some things up that needed it. We got all of our pastas in here. We got all of our cooking stuff, coffees, teas, chickens, pizzas, all the frozen stuff there. We got all of our fridge stuff over here and a couple more fridge things and random like snacks and stuff, cereals over here and all of our alcohol, beer at beer and stuff over here. So all of our cleaners in here as well, minus potatoes. <laughs> That's kind of random, but trying to get everything organized. I guess I probably should just put the potatoes over here, which maybe I'll do here um, in a moment once we get things actually going for the day. But you guys can see we have 450 bucks spacing, or almost 500 bucks um, here starting things out. All of our bills, our loan is paid back again now that we, we just got the small one to get the shelves in the last episode. And all of our bills are paid. I went through and ordered everything we needed before the start of this episode as well. But uh, if you guys are stoked in this, be sure to smash that like button. Show it some love and support. And if you guys are new around here, check this out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button as well so you guys don't miss out on any videos. But um, also another thing, we got all of our fridges reorganized here. So all the beer fridge stayed the same. All of our meats stayed the same, but everything else changed. We reorganized. We moved over our milk and our um, our butter that used to be over here. And we also made things horizontally versus vertically um, what it used to be in there. And I think it looks a lot better like that. Makes Keeps things a little cleaner with that so i'm super stoked in that i know like i said we spent about an hour last episode basically reorganized everything but i think it came out really nicely so i'm gonna actually do this real quick i'm gonna move this shelf I right, now now after seeing this i actually kind of want the potatoes over here i think it would be cleaner being with the rest of the food rather than being with the cleaners it's a bit odd being over there so i think it's look we'll just look better like this so let's go ahead and just get this moved over real quick one last organizational thing to uh, change here Come on, baby. Don't. Come on. Don't play hard to get. There we go. Okay. But yeah, that way it leaves all the rest of this cleaner aisle open, which actually what I really should do. Well, we kind of left this open because we got some new toilet papers and stuff coming here very soon. You guys can see we are level 41 and we're already into 41 as well. So we might even be 42 at the end of, by the end of this episode. So we will see. We might end up getting a new license here, which will, once we get to 42... It is going to unlock three different licenses for us, which I wanted to, by this time, have a bunch more money saved up. And as you guys can see, we have not, because we've spent all of our money on products, organizing, all that fun stuff. But it's been amazing, so I'm definitely happy with it. But yeah, we have three licenses here that unlock at 42, which toilet paper is one of them. Um, so we're going to, actually, this next one's going to be a huge cleaner one. So we're going to want to make sure we have enough um, space for that between the shelves and our storage um, shelves as well. So... We'll be good with that, but it's just going to expand upon our cleaning aisle here, which we actually have a lot of space with. Minus this stuff, we might have to move over a little bit, which actually would probably make more sense to move over here anyways um, for that. So I think I might actually do that right now while we're in the mode of organization, which this will be very easy because what we can do here, once this guy's done grabbing his stuff, I'm just going to hold off. We can just move this guy over. I'm going to bump it over here in the middle just temporarily, and we're going to move this guy Right over here like that like so okay so there's that let's get this guy moved on over and we should be good to go with that simple as that we don't have to worry about any boxes or anything moving stuff around a lot nicer especially with all of our jimmies trying to store or i'm trying to stock shelves that's what i'm trying to go for here <laughs> sorry guys it's been coming off a very long long week of work so it definitely, it, my, my brain's a little bit mushed right now. I'm recording this episode on Friday as well, when I just recorded the last one. Yesterday's on Saturday, so this would be Sunday's episode. So like I said, my brain's a little bit mush. I need a little bit of a break here from working outside of this. Like, I don't consider this work, honestly. This is just fun doing this. I love sitting down playing games and everything, so I'm never going to consider this work, honestly. But uh, like I said, just getting a little brain fart here and there <laughs> because of it. 
Um, but yeah, I think everything is honestly looking really nice with this door. I'm super stoked. Honestly, I'm thinking of another organization thing. We really could move the butter with the cheese. That would kind of make sense. But also at the same time, I... I don't know. I'm just trying to really organize and perfect this place. Maybe what I'll do actually is move this fridge over to here. And then we can bump this guy down maybe. And then just have our... Move all of these down. Or just, well, I guess we can just move this one down and then just flip this one to here. And then move our drinks over to here. So that way everything kind of flows nicely with that. I think it would make sense to keep the cheeses and stuff with the rest of this. So let's do that either way here. Let's wait. I know I know they still grab stuff when um, even when the shelf actually is not there. I'm not trying to move the label there, game. Thank you. Yeah, see, he's still grabbing stuff. Okay. See, there's there's that. I think that just makes more sense like that. Now I just need to figure out how I want to do it. Do I want to just move the drinks right over? Oh, well, maybe, yeah, maybe I'll just move the drinks right here. That way they're, they're next to the, the beers and stuff. Come on. There we go. Okay. Just little things like that. I think just quality of life for the store. But now we've got all of our eggs. we got all of our juices and stuff, which I like having the drinks nearby, so I... Hmm. Okay, I think what I'm going to do here, actually, is this guy here, yeah, he's stocking from there. That is funny. So I'm going to move that over here. And move this one right here. There we go. And then move this guy right here in tight. And I think I am going to move the drinks, actually, over here. So that, that like that, and then I'm going to move the drinks over here. I think it will just look good. That way it stay, they, stay, yeah, they stay nearby all of our juices and everything. And I think that will just look good. That way it stays nearby all the, all the juices, milk, other drinks and stuff like that. And then our sushi, we're definitely going to keep... Um... Yeah, I think what I'm going to do... Let's move this guy right here. Like that. I'm going to move this one over. Like that. And then we'll move this guy right here. Our stock... Our jimmies are probably like, Stop it! What are you doing? We can't keep up. But there we go. <laughs> okay. So yeah, we've got all of our beers, meats, sushis, which I want to keep these two together. Definitely. I think that makes sense. We got our frozen, or not, I guess it's not quite frozen, but we got all of our meats and stuff right here. We got our drinks, more kind of juices, drinks. That's why I want to have these nearby. We got all of our cheeses, dairy stuff. I know the hummus is not quite dairy. It's kind of a snack kind of thing. So I don't know. It could go right there, but, and then we've got our eggs and stuff right there. So I just think that looks a lot. So much better with that. Yeah, you guys can see, like, we're already going through some of our stuff a lot. And like these almost fully stocked up. So, definitely very much needed to have all of these items like we do, honestly. I think I really want to keep expanding stuff, but I don't want to keep spending money. Excuse me. Jeez. I don't want to keep on spending money and stuff at the same time. So we don't really have a ton of money for more, more product itself. And trying to potentially add more shelving in. So I'm trying to get, uh, like I said, we need our next license, which we're about a third, maybe a quarter to a third of the way through um, to level 42. So we're getting close, pretty close, honestly. And um, I just remember too, I kept asking you guys to, if you, any of you guys knew, if we ended off the day here before all of our customers are out, do we get the money for, for the customers that are here that we haven't checked out yet? And one of you guys, I think it was, I think it was our viewer Glenn, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, he had tested out if it does or not, and you do lose out on the money um, if you do not uh, have them actually finish checking out. So make sure to maximize your profits by maximizing all your customers through throughout the day um, by not uh, finishing off the day before until everyone is until your last customer is out or at least checked out. So thank you. Uh, like I said, I believe it was Glenn. So thank you, Glenn. I really appreciate that. Um. Okay. 
Let's see. I still would like to... I think what I need to do also is get this swapped out in here. Move the potatoes over here. Like I said, I'm just trying to really get things kind of fine-tuned with the store. It, it is looking very nice, and I'm really proud of it and really happy with it. But I think... Oh, I just realized our hand soap is over here. That's got to be back here by the cleaning stuff. Okay. So we're going to have to remove that as well, which we've got our clean stuff over here. Where is our hand soap? Right here. Um, okay. Can I set... Of course, I can't set that down. Okay, but I can set that one down, and I can set that one down. Good. But I can't set this one down. But what I can do is set this right here, so I can cancel that. And then we're going to move these over to here. Again, just trying to do a little quality of life things. Just keeping things organized here. We'll set these up here just temporarily. I don't know what we're going to need to move around here once we get the next one. Especially because it's basically all cleaning stuff. Which is a good thing. Definitely. So let's get these guys over here. And there we go. So we get rid of this box actually. Which is good. And then we can set these guys back up over here. And our stalkers will take care of... Oh, I just realized I didn't even get rid of these. That would That was almost bad. <laughs> Not bad, bad, but annoying, basically. Okay. So there we go. Um, I almost kind of want to move the bread over in here with this stuff as well. I don't know. I think it flows well with the breakfast stuff at the same time. So I don't know. This stuff's pretty close by. I think it flows good with the snacks as well. But yeah, I think I want to move the potatoes over. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to move this guy right here. I'm going to move this guy in here then. Come on. There we go. Okay. And then, so I'm going to move... Actually, I'm, what I'm going to do is just move this. Or wait, no, we don't want to. We're just going to move the potatoes, actually, on the shelf itself. Not the, not the whole shelf, because we've got the other product on there. What is it getting... Oh, was it was I blocking that there? I admit I might have been blocking that. Okay. So there's all of that. Let's get There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna check out um the potatoes quick, which those are over here with like we just had talked about. There we go, we can get that. Now we can move these over without a worry of them grabbing stuff out of my hands. But yeah, I definitely want to keep the potatoes nearby, for sure. I was like, are you really stocking potatoes when there's nothing there? But no, he, he just was stocking up some, some more vodka, so that's good. He's doing his job. I know they're just trying to help out stocking stuff, but it really gets annoying sometimes when you're trying to do this kind of thing. But that's alright. Okay. So there's that. We can move these back to the shelf, then. Um, If I can go to... There we go. Let's say if I can go to the right shelf... And there we go. Okay. So there's all that. That stuff's reorganized. Now we've got even more room for more alcohols when we get some more of those, which I don't know if we're going to be getting any more. Actually, I think we might be with this next... Not... I don't know. I mean, with the next level up. I think... Um, or no, it's down here at 56. Okay. So it's going to be a bit before we get any of that. So that's all right. We may end up moving some other stuff over here, but I think it's better to have the potatoes nearby. Nearby each other like that in their own area. I think it's good. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and end off this day here. We got uh, 55 customers. I think that's our new max for what I've noticed um, on that. So we got flour, apple juice, sugar, and coffee. So flour, that's rice. I don't know why I'm looking at that. Oh, definitely this one. I think it was a light roast coffee. I know apple juice. Oh, this one up. Okay, 12.50. Oh, this one up also. Go 325 on that. And then... Now I can't remember what the last thing was. I always do that where there's four items and I forget the last one. So we got the flower. Um, apple juice we got. Coffee we got. And... Oh, that's right. Yeah, 
powdered sugar, which it is the um, pink bottle stuff. Oh, wow, that really dropped down. So 525 for that. Yeah, we're barely making a profit on that now at this point. Okay, so there's all that. Let's get our bills paid right away. May as well, or we won't go ahead and order anything, spending money on stuff. Okay, so we need some candy, some chocolate. Go one, two. Actually, we'll go... I think we're gonna go start we're gonna start going crazy a little bit ordering stuff here again. We kinda held off and just did like the bare minimum to get us up and running. But I think we're at that point now where we can start ordering more again. So we got milk. Let's get some of that. Um we need some powdered sugar, some of the box stuff, and brown sugar. One, two, one, two. And Wait, are these? Okay. So there's some of that. Let's get... Oh yeah, that is the same size box. What am I thinking of? Okay. We're good on the cakes. Um, honestly... Could use some more of the potatoes. There we go. We got some of that. And then I guess some of that rice will go with... Okay, so there is that. Let's get, uh, I'm going to get some of these stocked up right away. There we go. We got some of our chippies in, so that's good. Get some of our chocolates up in there. You know, we just ordered a bunch of those, everything, basically. Trying to just get things really beefed up again. I know we kind of held it. We kind of slimmed down a bit again since we didn't have a ton of money to spend because we were spending money on other stuff. So, always like to have our supply of stuff beefed up. And that was one of the reasons for doing this whole whole thing of reorganizing everything so we can get even more items. Get some chocolates in there. Um, we've got a lot of boxes to order and stock up here. This will take a little bit here, but it's going to be well worth it um, for us. Got some more brown sugar here. Let's get some of that. Yeah, I think at this point, like, I would love for a stocker to actually just grab boxes off the street that we order and stock them on the shelf, on the storage shelf. That would be really awesome, actually. Because we spend quite a bit of time doing this, where we could just run through order stuff and it would streamline our life even more than, than the stockers itself already have. It was pretty bad, honestly, before we had our stockers, because we were literally having to order stuff, put it on the shelves, and then grab it off and stock the actual shelves. So that part of it was honestly getting really bad. So I'm really, I'm still really happy with having just the stockers, but obviously there's always improvements that could be made um, to anything. But like I said, I'm gonna try not to complain too much with it because it is definitely a night and day difference just having these guys alone. There we go. We got that in there. Let's get these last two boxes of candy in, and then we'll be good to uh, continue going around the storage room. We got a lot, a lot of other stuff to order, so I want to make sure we stay on top of it and have enough money for everything. I know we got thirty, almost $3,700 still, but that's going to go away real quick. So we need flour, the new ones. We need, honestly, basically all of that stuff as always. One, two of those. Um, We need three of the blue. Two, three. And then two of the red. Which, honestly, we're hurting on the other reds we have, too. We only have one in each of those. Um, okay, pastas, we could use two of the elbows, one of these. So two of these and one of these, and that's per that's a perfect 10 right there. Gotta love a 10. Okay, there's that. Let's get all of this in. We actually, it doesn't seem like we've been stocking anything that's actually been out yet on the shelves. It's just... We're running lower on it, I guess. So there's, our jimmies aren't actually going in stock anything that we're putting on the storage shelves quite yet. So I guess that I guess that's a good thing. That our shelves are that full that they haven't needed to. That means we're doing our job and they're doing theirs.
Okay, so there's all of that. Get these last few boxes in, and we'll just get keep on going, ordering stuff. That's about all we can do. And it should just be the other rice box that we have. Okay. So, we've got... We're good on teas. Um, we could honestly use some more, co some more coffee. Kind of some of both of them. I'm going to order like three of each of those. One, two, three. Oops, that's four. <laughs> One, two, three. There we go. We got some of that now. Um, we could use some pepper and salt, honestly. One, two, three. Yeah, that's four. That's all right. One, two, three, and four. We'll do four of each of those. Well, I guess, yeah, we'll do. Why not? Okay, we could use three chickens. Well, I'll do three. Make things even at six items. There we go. We got some of that. Um, We're good on pizzas for now. We could use some more of the ice cream. One, two of those. And then some more fries. We can use two more of those. One, two. Okay, we are already down to 2250, basically. And we still have a lot more shelves to go through and some of our expensive items to go through. <laughs> so we are not doing great at money. But again, we're just getting back to beefing up our supply of things because we kind of let it get a little thin. We are spending money on other things um, elsewhere. So, that's alright. Like I said, we're going to get get back to it. We may as well just keep on stocking everything up that we can. And getting things rolling here. Okay, so there's all of that. Let's get these. I'm assuming the other box over there is going to be the fries also. Oh, I thought I thought I just put that on the shelf above. I was about to cry. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> okay. So there's that. Let's get these coffees in. That's right. We got a bunch of coffees. That's where a bunch of our money went. A bunch of peppers. Those are expensive too, so we don't go through a ton of those, but that's where it's worth it just to get the bigger supply of things. To get them stocked up and beefed up. So. There we go. We got that. We got this here. Actually, I think we're going to be maxed out on... Yeah, that's our sixth box of that, so that we are maxed out on the that coffee. Let's get some of the salt in here. We should have like four box, four or five boxes each of these, I think. Yeah, I think it'd be five boxes, I believe. Okay, we got some of that. And then we got one more of the dark roast, which actually I think is going to max out this shelf as well of these. So we ordered the right amount. Yeah, we did. Okay, perfect. Got some more salts here and some more pepper. Yeah, it's going to be five boxes of each. That's good. Got a huge supply of them. I know, like I said, I need to be saving up. Because we got new licenses coming here very soon. We're already halfway to four, halfway to 42, basically, from 41. So, which is, which is good. But, obviously, we're just behind the curve again with money. Like always. So, we might end up taking on a loan. We will see. So, I would like to get at least one of them. But, I don't know. We will see. So we're all good on those. Um, how are we doing? We need two bleaches. So let's get those ordered right away. One, two of those. Um, we're pretty good on that stuff here. So that's good. We need some cereals, definitely. So we need one box of the honey and two of the rest of them. So one box of honey, two of those, two of those. And I think we need some butter. One, two, and three. I'll just do. Okay, we got the bleaches in here at the bottom. We'll get these taken care of right away since they're the furthest away. May as well knock them out. Obviously working closer towards the door as we go, which is really nice. Now we got some of this cereal here. We got some of the honey cereal. And some of that. What are we? Yeah, we're missing some peanut butter and honey as well. So that's just great. There's that. Got some of this butter here, which we're going to have five boxes of this now, which is good. And just beefing up our supply of things. 
So there's that. Uh, we need some honey and peanut butter. One, two, three, four. Actually, that's five. That's fine. I'll just max out these. Let's do that. Yep, that'll work perfectly. That'll basically st top off all of our shelves with those. We honestly can almost get away with not even ordering anything probably through the next day and be just fine at this rate with how much supply we have of things. So that is really good. Got some more peanut butter there. Got some more honey. Which now our jimmies are fine. They finally found something to actually stock. But well, everything else has been actually full on the shelves at least or very close to full that they haven't had to grab them. So that's been a good thing. Okay. So we need some more bread. Some of the bigger bread. I feel like the sliced bread and like both breads are one of those that I could actually probably double up and be actually helpful for us. Um, potatoes we're all good on, so that's good. We're all good with this stuff. Uh, we could use some more waters. Two of the original and one of the new ones. One, two, and one. And some, I guess, orange juice we could use one of. And milk and Sprite. So orange juice, milk, and zap soda. There's that, and then the tuna. And that is very close to everything that we need. We got of about $1,100 at the moment. Yeah, I think the breads I might double up too, since we have some extra space over here anyways. Kind of makes sense uh, to do that, but we'll see here. Uh, we got some water. Get these in real quick, and then we will keep on rolling with stuff here. There's that. Got our orange juice here. Let's get that in. Got our milk to go in here, right there. I'm starting to remember where everything is now, too, so that's good. Definitely takes a little bit to reorganize, re-remember, retrain your brain to figure out uh, or to remember where everything is. Okay, so there's all that. We're all good with that stuff. Um, could probably use some more moussaka, scallops, and some lord sushi. Uh, moussaka, scallops, and then sushi large for that. And that'll be good to finish off that shelf there. Then we just need two kegs, and that should actually be it. Which I say that, but that's actually quite a bit of money. One, two. Yeah, that's going to eat up half of our remaining money right there. So we have just under $500 left over. So that's not very great, but we got a bunch of stuff restocked up, really uh, refreshed. Um, so we're, we're sitting really good with that. We just need to keep our supplies beefed up, and then we will be good to go with everything. So we got the scallops there, and we've got our moussaka right there. So there's that. We got a completed, basically fully stocked storage room again. Um, with everything. So we are good to go. Let's go ahead and open up our store here for the day. And ro red get right on rolling here. So like I said, we are getting very close to 42. We might... I don't think we're going to hit it actually in this day today. It might be one more day after this. Mm -hmm. But um, it's it's knocking on the door. Which, as is that money that we need all the time, it's knocking on the door. Um, because there's always other stuff to buy. <laughs> uh, I could have actually bought some more beer, I guess. Well, we, we're okay, I guess. We got another... We got two more right there, so we're doing all right. That's why having the bigger supply of things is definitely very helpful for all of that. Um, I'm really kind of feeling like doing another shelf of this. So I think what I'm going to do here, move this guy actually over, and we're just going to kind of do a bit of finishing organizing before we get um, our new items in. This is really what we've, why we've been doing this is just in preparation of all those new items that we're going to be getting here real soon. Trying to get our store prepared so we're actually set for it and not just thrown to the wolves. There we go. So now what I could do here is let's pull these out, pull that out, and pull that out right there. And there we go. Now we've got two more shelves, which actually I'm just going to order more bread and I'm going to get another thing of beer. Um, Right here and then... Bread. We'll get two more of these and two more of these, and that's only 150 bucks right there. So not bad at all. 
But now we've got a nice, steady, healthy supply of bread, too, that we always seem to go through quite a bit of. And we had the extra space right there anyway, so it worked out really nicely. Okay. And then one more thing of beer right there. And there we go. That honestly looks really nice. Like I said, I'm really happy with that. Probably what I should do, actually, would be this right here. Just move these. Uh, I'm going to end up moving these up top, aren't I? Yeah, I definitely am. So what I want to do is have bread, bread right there. And then these can go up top right there. At least this is a lot easier moving these around than actually is actual items. So, not too bad, honestly. There we go. Much better. Okay, so we got cereals right there. We got our butter, which again, don't really make sense having them right there. But it is what it is for now. And then we got our bread right there. Peanut butter, honey. And then all of our uh, bags of potatoes right there. I'm always going to keep like a separate uh, section here for all the alcohols and everything. I think that looks good. Again, we got our fridge stuff right there for the most part. Our freezer stuff is all right here. And we got all of our cleaners in here, which again, we could move this one over here, but we're going to be getting a bunch more cleaners here in the next um, license. So it'll be well, well worth it to have the extra space in there for all of that. So there we go. We got all that looking really good. We're already actually about two thirds of the way through the, through the level. So. That is actually really good. Maybe, maybe we will hit 42 here today. I don't know. We will see. And if that's the case, we're probably... I mean, either way, I think we're going to end up getting one or one or all of the loans to get everything. <laughs> the license is purchased and try to get as many of the new products as we can, which we'll probably end up doing in the next episode. Honestly, I think that's... I'd rather save it save it for a brand new episode to have um, all, of, all the new products and everything. Have that just again for one big extravaganza of products, <laughs> if you if you will. Yeah, this is all looking really good. I'm so happy with our storage room in here. It's just always so it's always so good looking. It really is. I'm just so proud of everything here with the store. It is so cool. Um, but yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm assuming that even if we don't get to level 42 in this episode, it's okay. Like I said, I'd rather start with a fresh episode. Oh, we got cheese mozzarella is too expensive. Which that's going to be this guy right here. I mean, I guess we go 475 on this. Oops, not <laughs> 475, not 750. I don't know where I got 750 from. And I did, I do remember, I did see someone complain about the price of cheese or butter, which is 11 cents over market. You're fine, sir. Get bent. <laughs> I'm not dropping it down for 11 cents over market. That was yesterday when that happened, so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, like I said, we are just... Just bang on with all this. It's looking amazing. We got so much supply of things. This was our two... There was one in each of these boxes, so that's why those are empty. But it is just looking so good. So crisp. So fresh. I can't say enough about it. I'm so happy with it, honestly. It's so nice. We can just literally sit back here, run the whole day through. I might even add another register in and just sit and run the register. I know you guys seem to enjoy that as well um, with that. Even doing one register, we could even do that. That would be kind of fun again to do that. So if you guys want to see another episode of that of where we're at right now with as many customers as we, as we have, just running through one register only. No employees. We can get rid of all of our um, all of our Timmes and at least temporarily send them on a little vacation. They've been working hard. They need a vacation as well um, from work. Obviously, I need a vacation, but I don't get a, I don't ever get that time <laughs> from uh, working here in the store. But um, that's all right. That's what the owner does. That's why we rake in the money, all of that, like, $2 every day that we make. <laughs> uh, the bleach is too expensive. Let's see. I mean, not really there, sir. Wherever you, wherever you went. Wherever you want, get bent. <laughs> but okay. Anyways, with that. Yeah, we're definitely not going to be hitting uh, 42 in this day today. 
It's going to be probably um, in tomorrow's day. Which will probably be in tomorrow's episode. With that. Because I am running a bit short on time here today. I got, I got to get some other videos recorded. Which we've got the new series of Tidal Wave DLC for Gas Station Simulator. And also Real Estate um, Agent or Real Estate Simulator just came out as well. Which we're going to be doing at least a few episodes on that. Um, I just saw somebody complaining about something. So I would like to try to get all those record. I got a couple of those to get recorded here today of each of those also. But, um, so yeah, I'm not going to run super long in this episode. I know last episode we just ran about an hour. So we was a lot more than I was expecting with that. I was expecting like maybe 45 minutes at most on that one. But like I said, I'm definitely, I absolutely love this game. I really don't ever want to stop playing it. It's going to be sad whenever this one does go eventually. But we're eventually going to get to a point where there's just not much that we can do with it this one this box is like half opened right now you guys can see it's like cracked open there's no label on it so it's actually kind of funny but yeah we got a lot of people still in here so one this day was probably four grand or a little more than four grand I mean, we got what one two three four five six seven eight nine ten plus like two more people roaming around so we actually might end up things off with like 4500 bucks here you know, again, we got to order more product, as always, which, again, we're doing okay on. We're not um, we're not hurting too bad, so that's a good thing. Definitely don't have a ton to order. Got a couple of toilet papers. We got a couple of bleaches, a couple of uh, chickens. Um, our cleaners we could use probably a touch of. These are all looking pretty good. This is all looking fairly good. We got a few things that we could use here and there. We'll probably top things off on just to keep up with things and not get behind on it. Obviously, there's a lot more that still needs to be stocked on through. So we'll obviously um, let our stockers all roll through everything and see what we actually all need for all that, which usually they do during the day, which is why I have four stockers because it saves me time too. So that way I'm not waiting for them to finish things up. I can actually just get ordering product in the morning or during, throughout the day whenever, and we're good to go with that. But Okay, we got a few more people rolling through here. Yeah, we're definitely going to... Yeah, we over, we're over four grand now, so we might even be at 4,500 or maybe close to five. Which that means we're really close to one of the licenses. Obviously, like I said, I need to order some more product. But that'll put us in a good spot for the, at the end of tomorrow during the day. Um, because we'll have even more money at that point to actually be able to purchase the next license and order products. Okay. And I also hope... So like I said, this is going to be Sunday's episode. I am recording this on Friday. I really hope that uh, we get an update this weekend. That would be awesome if we could. I don't know if we will or not, but um, that would be really cool. Maybe some kind of addition or changes, tweaks to the game, a few little fixes. Like I know there's still the bug of not being able to put the boxes down on the ground at certain points, which is a little bit frustrating, especially when you're trying to reorganize boxes or reorganize shelves, um, especially with the stockers. So we got 4400 bucks. one customer left. I'm going to go ahead and close down the store here, and we should be good to go. At that point. Okay, we got a lot of stuff coming through here. We got a couple of large sushis too. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, we're going to be over 4,500. We'll be at about 46-ish. Somewhere in there. Pretty close to it. <laughs> Just sitting here above them. As they're checking out, yeah, it'll be about yeah 150. So, yeah, about 40, yeah, 45, 60 roughly. So that's pretty sweet. Our, our uh, Jimmies are still stocking things up here. Let's see. We got 56 customers. I think, that, again, I think that's a new um, best rating on that. And even with all the stocking we did, we still came out ahead on profit. Not much. A little bit, though. So we got green tea and zap soda. What's, um... Oh, wow, that really dropped down. 325, I guess, for that. And then some green teas for that. Which, honestly... I guess I'll just go $8 on this. There we go. That'll be good. I'm going to get our bills paid right away. And we'll be good to go with that. I mean, you guys can see we are so close to 42. So we'll definitely be hitting 42 in tomorrow's episode with that. But there we go. Our bills are paid. We still have 4200 bucks. Like I said, I know we got a lot of stocking. Still go through and do. Uh, not a ton, actually. I mean, we got some. Just more maintenance now at this point rather than kind of like starting from scratch um, with that. With that, I think that's going to be a good point to wrap up this episode. I know we're running a bit, um, honestly, I would I would say long, but it's actually shorter compared to what we've usually been doing. 
But like I said, I got some other a couple other videos I got to get recorded here today. But um, yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this, be sure to smash that like button, show it some love and support. And if you guys are new around here, check this out. Be sure to hit that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out on any videos. But uh, thank you all very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. And I will see you on the next one. Peace out, guys.